Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to fiber etch a custom stainless steel memorial. It's taken me quite a few years to be able to build up the capability that I have here now in the shop. And that means we would basically make anything out of anything. In this case here, it's a stainless steel memorial plaque. And the marking that you see there is actually using our fiber laser. Now the advantage of the fiber laser for something especially like this that will go outside is that unlike uh, screen printing, UV printing, any kind of printing process you can imagine, it will come off the steel. There's no way around it. Uh, there's also bonding, uh, ceramic bonding. Again, that comes off. Fiber etching is nothing was added to the metal to produce the contrast. It's just the laser hitting it and basically really, really scratching it up and also heating it up. So it's a little bit tempered as well. And that's what produces the contrast that you see here. It's nice and sharp. Now, if you want to take that off, I've had a project where we kind of, I kind of screwed up on it and I had to take off the fiber etching. And it was the only time I ever did it because I ended up ruining the whole plate. I actually had to use an angle grinder and take me about half an hour to take it off. So that's not something uh, that you want to do and screw up on. But the meaning for it is for a memorial that's going to go outside, all weather, all season, absolutely no problem with the stainless steel. Now the stainless steel used for this memorial plaque, um, it weighs roughly I'd say maybe 15, 10 to 15 pounds. So it's definitely a nice size, it's about 29 inches by 17 inches. A bit of a distance to give you an idea of the scale. And the thickness is a little bit less than 1 8th, 12 gauge or 2.8 millimeters. So it's got a really nice thickness to it and it's incredibly strong. Now the nice thing about uh, having the equipment here in the shop means that I was able to plasma cut out all of this. And for the holes, I recently got a direct drive drill press, which is just a dream to be able to uh, make any kind of size holes I need in my stainless steel. So you might be wondering, why don't I use the plasma to do the holes rather than the drill press? Um, it's an extra process, and yes it is. But the advantage of the drill press is I get a really, really sharp, uh, perfect hole. Uh, we got to remember with plasma cutting, you have, you have to create the arc first, and then it goes around and cuts it out. Now there can be a little bit of deviation in the circle, so it's not a perfect circle. It's really, really good when it comes to a very small circle. Big circles, no problems at all. It's just that they're really, really fine. There's not much give uh, on the material and the process itself. So another option would have been to use the water jet to cut this out. Uh, the process for water jet cutting this out would be incredibly slow. So definitely the plasma is the way to go for this specific project here. Now after the drill work is done, the next step is to actually uh, clean off the surface because there's still some mill scale from the mill and it also gives it a nice uh, semi-gloss instead of a reflective gloss. So you can see the light is shining really well on it, but if I put my finger here, 
you know, it's not a blinding reflection that you get as a result. design options when it comes to custom memorial plaques that are stainless steel. We can also do them in milestone, we can do them out of wood, we can do them out of plastic or even Corian. Uh, the design options are totally endless. You can have any sort of shape, size, thickness that you could ever imagine. Any design works with the fiber laser as well if we're cutting it out of, uh, out of metal or we're etching it in, into metal as well. Uh, there is a couple of disadvantages to every machine so there's a plus and minus but definitely the most streamlined and uh, most cost-effective process I've found for outdoor memorials is definitely using stainless steel because then your maintenance is zero. Fiber etching means something will never come off so again your maintenance is zero on that as well and I found I need at least for making really really small holes perfect um, I just use my direct uh, DVR uh, drill press. So if we're looking for custom memorials any size any shape any material we can also do paint filling not on steel we can do that on Corian and other solid su surface materials and we can also do the laser etching onto uh, wood, which is again a permanent process as long as the wood stays uh, fresh and clean. Contact me at cncri.com. We'll make it for you and ship it right to your door.